Hello, Colts Nation. What's up, No Horse and Family? Welcome back to an episode of the No Horsing Around podcast. As always, I am one of two dudes talking Colts. I'm one of your hosts, Stephen Burton. And today, me and Zach thought it might be kind of fun. So, you know, we've talked at nauseum a little bit. We're going to have plenty of time to talk about the quarterback position. Uh, but there's a ton of other stuff. You know, if you stay with Carson, you get a rookie, you make a trade. We've all talked about like weapons, and we're going to talk in depth, you guys, kind of about the receivers and the tight ends and the tackles, you know, as we approach free agency uh, in March. But we thought it might be kind of fun to do some little videos, one off videos of some maybe some specific players that we like the idea of the Colts signing. So I got to draw the lucky straw. I'll tell you who we're going to talk about. Uh, here in just a second but as always you guys please 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 like share subscribe comment uh we are getting really close we're going to kind of make this final push uh prior to the super bowl as we're in super bowl week we're going to make this final push to see if we can get to 1k before the end of the the season we're humbled. We always say that we're humbled. We, we love that we've gotten to know you guys over this season. We can't wait to continue to know you guys and have the family grow. So if you can think of anything, you know, right, do join the family, you know, subscribe. Let me know what you think of who I'm going to talk about. Let me know if you want them uh, and ding the bell, you guys. We always talk about dinging the bell. So mm-hmm. let's just kind of go in. We've got one person that we're kind of interested to see. And that person is, you guys ready? That person is Alan Robinson. Uh, what do we think, you guys? What do we want Alan Robinson? Alan Robinson, you know, last year was the hot name for the Colts. Um, several years ago, I mean, he he's 28 now. Several years ago, he was the name. He was the dude that everybody in Colts Nation wanted. He was coming out of Jacksonville. He was massive. Um, He ended up signing with Chicago. Rumor was, the reason we bring up Allen Robinson is, rumor was the Colts were definitely in on him on several occasions. Money just wasn't there. So now that he's 28, he's not as young. He's had a couple of thousand-yard seasons, which is super impressive with what he dealt with in Chicago. Do we want him? Uh, what's his skill set like? Is his skill set similar to Michael Pittman? Would he complement Michael Pittman well? Uh, I say yes because I don't think he's viewed actually now as the top tier receiver in this kind of free agent class. You know, you've got a Mike Williams much younger. You've got a Chris Godwin much younger. You know, you've got Antonio Brown is out there. No, 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 no. No one's going to go. No one's take fly a kite. I mean, you've got Juju Smith-Schuster, younger, a little bit. So is he the number one receiver in this free agency class? Probably not. But he's kind of who Colts fans have like salivated and drooled over the last couple of years. And I think there's a chance. I think I don't think there's any possibility he stays in Chicago. I just don't, unless they tag him. Again, I just don't see it. I don't. Um, He's been through Trubisky and Foles and Dalton. And, yeah, now he has Justin Fields. And we do love Justin Fields. You know, Colts fans are a big fan of him too. But at a certain point, you know, it's time for a change. The nice thing with Robinson, Robinson is a big-bodied receiver who could kind of work the middle of the field too. It's going to be interesting. I mean, I, I I think it's doable. There's ties there. Uh, there's still ties there probably for Ballard in the Chicago area. There's definitely ties now because of Eberflus and all the connections now with Chicago because of, uh, because of him becoming the head man out there. He's a weapon, okay? He's going to cost money, but I don't think he's going to cost as much as – I mean, I'm a big fan of Mike Williams – I've heard some other people talk about Juju. I I could be open to the idea of Juju Smith-Schuster, but I think everyone kind of looks at Allen Robinson and goes, that's that's the golden goose. That's the one we want to see. That's what we want to see in a Colts blue uniform. 
put him on one side, put put Pittman on the other side. We're going to get to tight ends. I got a tight end that I really love. I'm going to talk to you guys about later this week, potentially. Uh, you know, I think it works well. He's never had a consistent quarterback. Now, granted, a lot of you are going to say, well, the Colts don't have a consistent quarterback. We're going to see. We're going to see. You know, and we've talked about weapons. I think whether you're going to have Carson Wentz or you're going to have a, you know, ESPN has us taking Desmond Ritter in the second round or Sam Howell or you trade for Russell Wilson. You got to get some more weapons. I think Allen Robinson is good. And specifically for me, as I talk, you know, with Wentz, Wentz isn't as accurate as other quarterbacks. You get him some big body receivers. I think he would do very, very well with that. So, I mean, for me, it's a thumbs up. It's a double thumbs up that I think you go get Allen Robinson. You go try to get him because I don't think he's the number one receiver on the market and you can get him a little cheaper than you probably could have last year. I think you can get him cheaper than some of the other receivers on the market. That's kind of where I stand. I want to hear what you guys say. Allen Robinson has been the hot topic, the hot button, the player on the offensive side of the ball. All Colts fans have wanted for probably the last two years. So y'all tell me, do you want him to go get him? Is he the receiver you want? If he's not, drop it in the comments. Tell me who you want. Who do you want us to talk about? What's a receiver you want us to go a little bit more depth into? That you want to hear us discuss, would he be a good match for the Colts? Would he be a good fit with Carson or any other quarterback or with Michael Pittman, who he's going to be with no matter what? So I want to hear it from you guys. Y'all tell me, who do you want? If you don't want Allen Robinson, who do you want? Okay? So... Like I said in the beginning, you guys, we're humbled. We're always humbled. Zach talks about it all the time, too. I mean, at the amount that, of support, the amount of kind of grants what we've had this past season, I mean, at the beginning of the season to now, we're about 80-some-odd shy of 1K, 1,000 subscribers. And like Zach said in his past episode, too, when we hit 1K, we're going to throw a party. We're, we're going we're gonna to do something fun. I mean, it's it's for you guys. We're able to do this because you guys listen to us, because it's shared, because you share it with friends, because you subscribe, because you comment, all those things. We're going we're gonna to have a party. It's going to be a no horsing around party when we hit 1K and everyone's going to be invited. Uh, maybe we'll do a fun live stream, give some stuff away. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please hit it. Like I said, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think, okay? We got some fun stuff. We're kind of doing a final little push here. Uh, until we get to the Super Bowl. we got some fun little things brewing, so maybe some guests coming on this week between the two of us. Heck, you may get the two dudes back together for one of the episodes. It's going to be fun, okay? We're going to have a good time. So I end this stuff the way I always do. I love you. I know Zach loves you. We're out.